Looks like the fire needs some attention. Is that a journal? Yeah, my mom makes me keep one. She said it'll help develop my writing skills for college. Hmm, that makes sense. I should keep one too. Well, I'm trying to think of a word that best describes this trip. Hmm, how about memorable? Memorable? Are you serious? Yeah, why not? You're never forgetting, you're never gonna forget it, that's for sure. I was thinking more along the lines of awful, or dreadful, or horrific. But that's so negative. Why? How can you not be negative? We've been stranded here for like five days now, with no end in sight. It's only been two and a half days. Well, it sure seems like five. Just try not to think about it. Yeah, right. It's working for me. Oh, he's better than this fire right now. Ah! Are you okay? Did you take my chair? What? I don't know. Did I? That's fine. I'll just get another one. What are you reading? The Swiss Family Robinson. I've never heard of it. You've never heard of the Swiss Family Robinson? No. So what? It's a classic. Um, is that so? Yeah. May I see it? Sure. And this helps keep your mind off the situation? Yeah, totally. What's it about? It's about a family who went to an island but got swept off course and they lost their ship and ended up deserted on an island for like, I don't know, 10 years. Kind of like what we're experiencing right now. Uh, what? Uh, may maybe. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Ah! You did it again? Uh, I, I think I'm gonna go fishing. That was weird. Not really. You took his chair. I did? I'm sorry. So, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just recording all these precious experiences we're having. I want to remember all the details when I'm old. I can tell my grandchildren what a horrible time I had in the jungle. No offense, of course. Look, I know I'm a terrible skipper. I'm sorry you've had to have me as your guide. You could be a little nicer, though. Hi. Is, uh, you all right? Who knows? Can I sit down? Sure, if you want to. You know, for what it's worth, I don't think it's her fault we're in this situation. It really could have happened to anybody. I suppose. But it doesn't change the fact that we're stuck in the jungle and I don't want to be here. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, I did. I'm hungry, too. Honestly, I don't know how much longer I can stand this. Well, it is bad. There's no doubt about that. Wait, you think so too? Well, yeah, why? Because you always seem so happy, I can't figure it out. Well, I'm not always happy, but I am thankful. How can you possibly be thankful in a situation like this? It's miserable. Well, it's not easy, believe me. But then I remind myself that no one has ever endured as much as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Huh? What do you mean? Think about it. The creator of the universe took on the limitations of a human body, was born in a small town, 
and laid in a feeding trough for animals. Then he lived on this earth for 30 some odd years. He got tired and he got hungry and he suffered pain and sadness just like we do. Then after all the wonderful things he did, he was crucified even though he was totally and completely innocent. Wow. So you see, this situation right here is nothing compared to what he went through. I see what you mean. Cassie, do you think you're good enough to go to heaven when you die? I think so. I mean, I'm better than a lot of my friends. You know, I used to think I was good enough too. But then a friend showed me from the Bible how wrong I was. I wasn't good enough. In fact, nobody is. Nobody? The Bible actually says that? Sure does. It says we've all disobeyed God's commands over and over, and there's nothing we can do to make it right. Well, that sounds hopeless. Yes, but it isn't. And that's why I'm so thankful. God made a way for us to be forgiven of all our sins. Do you know what he did? Uh, no. He sent Jesus. That's why he came. You see, when Jesus died on the cross and was raised from the dead, he paid the penalty for our sins. So we could be with him in heaven someday. It was like a grand rescue mission. Wait, do you mean we're all going to heaven? Nope. Only those who believe in Jesus and are in God's forever family. Are you in God's family? I don't know. Would you like to know? I don't think I'm ready. You know, you don't have to get your act together to come to him. You just need to come. Um, uh, maybe some other time. You really shouldn't put it off. No one is guaranteed tomorrow. I understand, but right now I just need to clear my head. Okay, honey. Dear Lord, thank you that I was able to share the good news with Cassie. Please soften her heart and help her see how much she needs you. Amen. Oh, how I do love talking about Jesus. Where is everyone? Oh, well, Cassie just went that way. And I'm not sure about the others. Were you napping? Oh, no, I've been reading the Bible. You were this whole time? Yeah, I must have been reading it for three whole hours. Here you go. I really appreciate you lending it to me. No, no. I want you to have it. But it's your Bible. I always have two with me. One to keep and one to give away. So it's yours. Well, that is so kind of you. So did you read the book of John? I did. And Romans and Acts, too. Oh, that's a big dose of theology. So what did you think? What do I think? I think I'm a believer now just like you. What? I really, really do. I believe Jesus is God and the only Savior of the world. I believe he died for me and rose from the dead. And I believe that I am forgiven and we Jesus in heaven someday. Oh, that's amazing. I was praying that God would rescue Cassie and here he was rescuing you. And guess what? What? He is not done rescuing. I hear a boat. A boat? I hear it too. Thank you, Lord. Oh, boy, oh, are we, we glad, glad to see you. you. And I'm <laughs> glad to see you. I'm glad I found you. The river was a mess out there. Yeah, it was quite a storm last night. I hope you're all right. We are all doing well. I suppose you're hungry and thirsty, though. Well, yeah, a yeah, little bit. Just get out of the way and let us in there, okay? Help yourself. Oh, here, thank here. you. Look at, look thank at you so us. much. Oh, Save no. some for the girls. <laughs> well, well, there's a little. When CJ didn't uh, report in after the second stop, I knew there must be something wrong, so I started searching. And you had quite a storm down this way. Um, I would have gotten here sooner, but there's trees all over across that river. 
And so I had to clear some of them out of the way. It took a while to get here. So as I approached, I didn't see your boat. Where is your boat? Um, yeah. well, it was lost in the storm. But Skipper McGee feels terrible. Well, I'm just glad that you two are all right. I hope everybody else is. Speaking of Skipper McGee, I haven't seen her, though. Where I'm is she? Not sure. Somebody help! The Skipper's wrestling a crocodile! <laughs> <laughs>